And the life you're living today is very much influenced by your thoughts and your ways. That's a fact. The firing of Lentz in New York opened the floodgates for Hillsong. Let me ask you to respond to one idea that has been out in the press a lot. One former staffer said Carl was a mini you, a mini Brian Houston. What do you say? I mean, on one level, if people say Carl was like me, I'd see it as a compliment because incredibly gifted guy. But on another level, I don't think Carl really is anything like me. The church founder Brian Houston has announced his resignation as global senior pastor following an internal investigation which found that he acted inappropriately towards two women. I'm a raisin. I'm a raisin Christian. I mean, I'm, I'm st I've started to give myself credit for stuff that I shouldn't really give myself credit for. I'm not, I'm not talking about anyone in particular, by the way, but I have been around a long, long time. Two of the things that make you who you are, makes me who I am, are our thoughts and our ways. And then of course, our thoughts also are the things that occupy our mind, which could be anything from anxiety and fear, especially in times like these, to lust or who knows what else may fill people's minds. That's our thoughts, our ways are our conduct, our behaviour, our habits. You see, the reason you should never ignore your thoughts and your ways and just let them control you. And that's because they are sending you in a direction, along a path or along a way. I know that to be true from life experience. Hillsong last week revealed that investigation into two incidents found Mr. Houston had breached the church's moral code of conduct for pastors. And then we should all ask ourselves, what occupies our mind? What fills our thoughts? Is it worry? Is it anxiety? I have times when I fight anxiety. Is it fear? Is it bitterness? Is it hurt? If these are what fills your mind, then sadly, and I think it is sad, the outcome of your life will be shaped by those thoughts and those ways. Brian Houston's 45 year reign as head of the huge Hillsong Church has come to a shocking end. How much would my thoughts and my ways change if I could lift my thoughts higher and take on just some of God's thinking? How would our relationships change? How would our marriages change? How would your family change? How would your mental health change? It seems to be a subject on everybody's lips. And it's our thoughts and our ways that could ever spiralling down the wrong paths or the wrong rabbit warrens or trails. We would like to advise you that Pastor Brian Houston has resigned as Global Senior Pastor of Hillsong Church and the board has accepted his resignation. You see, a lot of people, they know their Bibles. Unfortunately, you'll meet lots of people who, well, they know their Bible extensively. And they could argue for their biblical point of view or their doctrinal point of view or their theological point of view. Maybe you can argue the Bible become an apologist for Christian doctrine. But here's the question. You see, some people don't seem to know and certainly don't display God in their ways. Their manner is ungodly. Their conduct is anything but Christ-like. Mr. Houston admitted he'd sent inappropriate text messages to a female Hillsong staff member and entered another woman's hotel room while under the influence of alcohol and sleeping tablets. I'm not, I'm not talking about anyone in particular, by the way, but I have been around a long, long time. Uh, I've got a lot more to say about how we can learn God's higher thoughts and His higher ways and how you and I can become individuals in a unified church community, all defined by His thoughts and His ways. Wouldn't that be amazing? Imagine what a great church that would be. The foolishness is no such thing as a church that is truly preaching and working under the Holy Ghost fulfilling the commission of the Word of God that is loved and accepted by the world. It's impossible.